and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so today is a new Delphi um, not the reason why I didn't upload um, of, or it's not new Delphi it's just dark themed Delphi now but the reason I didn't upload was more because my PC got a little bit broken and I had to fix it so uh, yeah anyways let's go to the coding so we have a another loop we're going to talk about. So today we're going to talk about the repeat loop. The repeat loop is basically the while loop but backwards. So when the person clicks on this button, it's going to display a bunch of numbers until it gets to a specific number. We're not going to stick input or anything, we're going to do a basic example. So let's go here and we create a variable, we call it inum, and it's an integer. Then we go inum becomes zero as an example. Now basically we'll go repeat and whatever you want to repeat you put in here. So this is the code that should repeat. So you repeat inc inum until inum is less or equal to let's say 10 or make it 20 so it runs longer a lot like the one I'll do yes so let's just go mem output dot lines dot add uh, int to string inum let's add that there control d then let's show this again all right. So if you were to turn this into a while loop, it would look like this. While, then i num num is less or equal to twenty. Just copy this code. Go begin first. B. So this is how it will look if you do it the other way around. So. It's basically the same thing, what we're saying here. It's the exact same thing. One is just a while loop and the other one is a backwards while loop. To do while loop just better. For me at least. So, yeah. Why should you use the repeat loop instead of the while loop? Maybe it's up to preference. I usually use the while loop because it's easier to remember. But if you can reuse the repeat loop, that's kind of less typing. So, yeah. Now let's make sure it works and then let's run it all right so here we have it run command hmm that's very strange oh i found it <laughs> it this should be more equal not less or equal because if it's less or equal to 20 because 0 and 1 is less than 20 it's not gonna run of course also another thing to note is this runs before it reads this. So this will run once before it sees if it were actually works. Another reason why you would use a while loop instead of this, because while loop first checks the conditions and then runs it the loop if sh it should, whilst the repeat loop first repeats the loop once and then reads the conditions on when it should repeat. Alright, so let's run this. Now if we say run command, we get up to 20. We can go all the way back up to 1. That's the repeat loop. Very easy, super fast, nothing really special about it. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.